innovate for the sake of innovate makes no sense, right? Um, and there is a myriad of factors that have to be taken into account. But for example, very often we try to innovate and find solutions to problems that could be avoided. And we hide under the let's innovate to find a solution to avoid the let's solve the problem. Um, there is several examples, but for example, uh, you mentioned that in 2050, 85% um, of the European population will live in cities. Not necessarily. If you start promoting economic and social measures that keep people in the villages, they won't move to the city. So I think very often innovation is done in a very superficial level, right? We could innovation means not only new solutions for existing problems means avoiding new problems, right? So let's try to, to innovate not only in the surface with technology and now we have social media. I'm a big user of Twitter, Facebook, whatever, and I, I very much see the bright side of it. Let's, let's try to innovate in a deeper level, in the level of values. To, to, you can give the technology to people. If you don't change their values, technology is lost. Um, and another point to take into account, following your, your intervention, is the inter in innovation at the cost of what, right? Um, and counting on who. I think it's important, um, it's very, very important to have a global lens and include everybody. And many, many of our innovations, uh, having an iPad and being able to receive my emails, is at the cost of people that are like outside and that cannot go to Twitter and say, hello, I am being exploited by the person that made your iPad. So I think we have to do two kinds of, in of innovation. The finding solutions innovation, I'm not against it, but a deeper level of innovation, changing the problems, avoiding the problems instead of, of correcting them. And um, I think Social, I think a civil society, sorry, has the power to do that, but needs the support of governments. Uh, as you said, these projects have to be scaled, and therefore we need funding. Everybody has to eat and pay rent, right? We need funding, uh, and I am uh, personally a volunteer. I've been doing volunteerism for for a lot of time, but um, that's that's. We need support, we need funding, and governments and the private sector have the funding. Um, and we need that not, not only to support uh, yeah, civil society, yeah. and especially youth, if you allow me, and that's following on Midori. Um, youth needs to be, innovation needs change, and change requires different solutions, and change requires mistakes. And youth is going to make a lot of mistakes, right? Youth are going to get out of the norm and do something you would have never done, you uh, older people, uh, because you know what the procedures are. But if you don't break the procedures, you're never going to innovate, right? So please, following Midori's request, give us the funding and give us the space and the social comfort. I mean, that I don't wake up every morning thinking, how the hell am I going to pay rent this month? Because I've been doing volunteer work for one and a half years. And I can wake up thinking, what am I going to do so that my phone is still affordable, but is not on the, on the back of anybody in China, or, as the classic example, or, or in Congo, picking up contact, right? So, so please, governments, give us the, 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 the funding and the social comfort to do innovation. And, and I would say, allow us to make mistakes. We have to make mistakes. We have to break the norm, and then decide if what we get after breaking the norm and constructing again is better or worse. But it's, it's a matter of trust in, in youth, and, and innovation requires open mind and space for, yeah, for breaking the law and then the, the norm, not the law, the norm. <laughs> <laughs> in, you know, in Spain, in Spanish, we use the same word. I always make this mistake, but breaking, breaking the norm, right? So that's right. So.
So yeah, I'm required. I'm sometimes even the law. I don't say. I mean, the law can also be questioned, right? Um, so so yeah, it's a matter of I, I would say funding and respect and openness of mind and and going always, always, always keeping in mind that there is a lot of people in the planet and why are we doing what we are doing and if there is even a need to do it or we could avoid the problem. Thank you very much, Sophia.